Hi everyone, welcome to my Facebook Live today. My name's Mandy Witherby from Mandy's Paper Craft Creations and I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator in Sydney, Australia. Thank you all for joining me today. We'll just wait for a few moments while people jump on. It takes a little bit of time sometimes for everyone to find me live. So just give a chance for everyone to jump on. While I'm doing that, I will just bring this live up on my iPad so that I can see all your comments. Okay. So let's see where we are. Awesome. Good, good, good. Okay, got that up ready so I can see comments. I'll just put that up a little bit higher so I'm not looking down. I feel like I'm looking down to the ground. <laughs> Okay, there we go. Hi Fee, great to see you. Thanks for jumping on today. Just straightening up my iPad. There we go, hopefully that will stay. My iPod, iPad holder is getting a little bit loose. And um, yes, yeah, so it's a bit touchy when I have to make sure I get it in exactly the right spot. How are you today Fee? Are you feeling good? It's a rainy, rainy day out here in the West. Anyway, is it raining there where you are as well? Just let me know. We're just waiting for a few moments for a few more people to find me and jump online. Sometimes it takes a little bit of time for people to get their notifications that I've gone live. So, yeah. So I have got um, some new things to show everybody today, which is always exciting. Um, oh good, you're feeling very rested after your crazy week at work. Awesome. So you had your final day. That's fantastic. Oh, a bit of rain there too. Okay, yeah, it's probably widespread I would imagine across Sydney. So you had your last day fee. How did it go? I haven't even had a proper chance to touch base with you yet. Are oh, you making some cards today? Awesome. That's really good. Love to hear that. <laughs> I've still been catching up on my Christmas cards. They're all made. I've just been writing on them madly, trying to get them in the post. I made one trip to the post office today and I'll be having to make another one tomorrow. Hopefully I'll get the rest of them done today so I can get them out. Um, oh, good. It went well. Very busy. Yes, very good. Yeah, that's so exciting, Fee. So you're all finished at work now. So cool. So exciting. Hey, Rose, great to see you here too. Great to have you along today. How's the weather down there in Tassie today, Rose? I was just saying to Fee, um, we were just talking about the rain up here. We've got a little bit of rain today in Sydney. So, um, and the western suburbs of Sydney. So greater Sydney. Um, yeah, so it's what a crazy couple of weeks it's been. I haven't been on here live for two weeks now. So much has been happening. Um, and yes, it's been a very, um, tumultuous time, let me just say. So lots of emotions the past couple of weeks, but I'll try not to go there too much because I don't want to get emotional here again. <laughs> but um, yes, it's uh, now a matter of finding our new normal or my new normal um, with not having my day job. And so, yeah, just settling into full time Stampin' Up, which I'm very excited about. So just... Um, taking it a little bit easy this week leading into Christmas and um, after Christmas we'll be hitting the ground running and getting all set up ready to run everything, uh, run my business full time. So super, super excited about that. Oh, it's dry down there but cloudy, Rose. Okay, perhaps the rain will come a little bit later. <laughs> Hopefully not though. So interestingly, um, for those of you who may be watching 
uh, oh, and actually, while I mention about watching, if you are watching the replay either on my um, Facebook business page or on YouTube later, feel free to still leave me a comment down below because I will, I do go back and I check those comments. So feel free to leave me a comment. And if you like what you see, please give me a thumbs up because that really helps me and helps my business. I'd really appreciate your support. If you are watching on my YouTube channel and you haven't yet subscribed to my YouTube channel, be awesome if you would subscribe and then if you click on the little bell icon that you'll see down this side <laughs> down the bottom right hand corner um, just below the screen here you'll see there's a little bell click on that and then you'll be notified every time I post a new video so now that I'll be going into my Stampin' Up! business full-time, I'm hoping to have much more time to be able to film some more videos, some shorter videos, um, some tutorials and things like that. So that's on my plan. So I'm looking forward to having the time to be able to do that. I will also, um, I'm also looking to uh, start up some additional classes as well. Now, currently all the classes are online. I was about to move back to in-person classes in January, but in Sydney here, we've had another spike in COVID in certain areas. So I think I'll be delaying that a little bit longer and keep everything online for a little bit longer yet. Um, so, now I only have two other jobs. Yes, mum and business manager. Yes, Rose. <laughs> Correct. Yes. Now I'm not juggling three things, just two, which will be much easier. <laughs> yeah. So, um, yeah, lots and lots of plans that I have for my business now that I'll be able to do that um, full time. I'll have much more time to be able to devote to everything. Um, and to all of you, my beautiful followers, my customers, my team. Um, I'll have much more time to devote to everybody as well, which will be fantastic. So I'm very excited for the new year. Hopefully 2021 will be a lot better than what 2020 was. I kind of want to forget 2020 um, and just move forward into a brighter year. We're still battling with COVID um, here in, you know, around the world, really. Um, looks like that's going to be with us for a little while longer, but we'll learn to live with it and learn to manage it. And um, hopefully, yes, um, those of you who I know and who watch me will stay safe. Um, and of course, I want everyone to stay safe. I don't want anybody catching that horrible virus. But um, yes, I particularly love the people that I um, that I work with, that I know. Um, and that you know I have contact with through my business so um, and of course my wider community and my family and my wider group of friends etc etc so yeah I just hope that you all stay safe and well hey Amanda great to see you thanks for joining me today awesome to have you here so we've only got a little group today. Hopefully some more will join us as time goes on. And as I was saying at the beginning, sometimes it takes a little while for people to get the notifications that I am live. So they might join us as um, as we're going along. So yes, so I finished up work on Wednesday. Um, you probably all saw my posts about that. If you didn't, I finished my day job at the preschool up on Wednesday. So traditionally, at this time of year, I'm already on holidays anyway when working. So I don't think it will really sink in until everybody else goes back to work in January back at the preschool and I don't join them. I think that's when it will really hit me. Um, and then I'll start getting phone calls for help <laughs> for things that either I didn't get finished before I left or um, that the new admin is not sure on. So I'm sure that uh, I'll be getting quite a few phone calls as well. Um, but that's okay. I can fit that in around my business, which is awesome. Um, yeah, so that was a really difficult decision that I made to leave my day job um, because I've been there for 13 years and that community has become my family. My workmates, workmates and colleagues had become my family and my close friends. And so to not and though, though a lot of us will still stay in contact, not seeing them every day and working with them every day will be a big adjustment. So both for them and for me. So of course we had tears all around. 
Um, they gave me a beautiful send off, which was lovely. Um, my admin assistant also retired on the same day. She's going into retirement to enjoy time with her husband and family. Um, and so, yeah, we both left at the same time. So it's kind of left a bit of a admin hole <laughs> at the preschool, but they have a beautiful new admin who's coming in. So I'm sure that she'll do well. Um, it's somebody that we know, so that's really good, um, and I trust her impeccably. So I know that she'll do a great job once she settles in, and um, yeah, so that's a bit of a relief as well for me, and she knows that she's got my support if she needs it too. Um, yes, yeah, so then we had that on Wednesday, and then on Thursday, we went as a um, team as a as a, a work team down to the south coast to Kayama for two days um so we, well one night two day well one and a half days yeah so all of thursday and half of friday we spent down there in beautiful Kayama and it was such a great end to the year it was so relaxed um, we had a bit of rain but the rain held off till the first late afternoon which was great we had a picnic lunch really chilled down near the blowhole down there um, was just really, really lovely, just relaxing and just actually spending time together to chat properly because at work, you know, you get little snippets of conversation here and there, but um, it's so busy at the preschool that you really don't, you know, because the children are the main focus and, and they're the ones that um, are important there. So we really need to focus on the children so we don't really get proper com adult conversations. Um, Oh, hi, Ma. Great to see you. Haven't seen you for a little while. It's great to see you back again. Thanks for joining. Um, yeah, so it was just a really, really lovely time. And we had um, dinner out that first night. Then we had um, brunch the next day, which was lovely until it was lovely. It was beautiful. Oh, we did shopping. I bought some new clothes. So I was really excited about that because up here in Sydney, I won't go to the, the big um, shopping centers. Um, I'm just too paranoid about COVID at the moment. So haven't been to the shopping centers for the longest time. And clothes shopping is a big, you know, no, no for me at the moment. But down there in Kayama, it was really safe because um, there's been no cases down there. So um, I did a little bit of um, shopping in some beautiful, cute little boutiques, little like coastal boutiques, had beautiful clothes. So I bought some things, which was lovely. Got a few additional Christmas presents, which was also very lovely. Um, things that you can't sort of get up here in Sydney or that you don't typically see here in Sydney, or at least where I live. So that was really fun. Then at brunch, at the end of brunch, they sang the goodbye, the preschool goodbye song. Well, I just completely lost it. <laughs> So, and then there were hugs all around and tears all around. Everyone was really upset to say goodbye. And yeah, so um, I felt like it was an endless week of goodbyes because, you know, different ones would come and go and some of the children wanted to say goodbye and some of the parents wanted to say goodbye. And then I said goodbye to the staff and, and the church um, committee as well came to my, my farewell. And then I had to say goodbye again all over at um, Kayama. So it was lots of goodbyes, but they're done now. So I'm thankful for that because it's really hard. <laughs> so <laughs> glad that that is all done. Um, but yes, I will miss them. So, but anyway, um, so let me tell you a little bit about, um, so you all know the other thing that's been happening in my life. And I'm not going to talk about that because it will make me too sad. But you've all been reading my posts, so you know. Thank you all for your support and your kind words and wishes. Um, but yeah, 2021 will be a better year. Okay, so on to some Stampin' Up! news. Let me just, hang on, I need a tissue now, just wait. <laughs> I was trying so hard to hold myself together for everybody. <laughs> okay. Oh, right. Now, I'm going to give you some Stampin' Up! news and then we're going to jump into um, some brand new product, which is always exciting. So remember that we have, at the moment, the giant year-end closeout. So that are pro they are products that are retiring. 
from the current August to December mini catalogue. Now jump online if you haven't already and have a look and see. There is still quite a bit that is available. I checked just before I went live today. There is a lot that has sold out already, um, but there's still quite a bit available at the moment. Now this goes until the 4th of January and there's a lot of heavy reductions on products as well. So grab yourself a bargain right now while you can. Um, and don't wait if there was anything that you had wanted that you hadn't yet purchased from the mini catalogue. Go there and um, grab them now before they're all sold. There are quite some few, quite a few things that are on low inventory, which means there's not many of them left too. So go there, check that out. Um, uh, sorry, when I tip the camera down, you'll see my blog, which is where you can access my online store if you shop with me. Um, but I'll tell you what it is now. It's Mandy's Papercraft Creations .blogspot.com. Um, That's my blog. And if you go there up the top left hand side, you'll see a shop button. You click on that shop button and it takes you straight through to my shop. And then you can click on, um, what is it, sales and specials, I think it is. Or actually, I think this banner comes up as soon as you go. That's like on the landing page. This banner comes up. Just click on that one. Or if you miss it, when there's because there's a few different ones scrolling across, just go to the menu and click on um, sales and specials and then click on the year end closeout. And then that'll take you to all the products that are still available there in the clo in the um, in the sale. So, yeah, so don't miss out on that one. Hang on a sec. Now my nose is going to start to run. <laughs> I'm so sorry. sorry. <laughs> very, uh, very bad manners wiping your nose on. Um, feel on camera, but that's what happens when you cry, isn't it? <laughs> okay. Now the other thing I wanted to remind you about is the um, Curvy Celebrations products. They are still available as well. Now the Curvy, the Quite Curvy um, Variety Bundle which includes the quite curvy Christmas and the designer series paper. These ones are only going to be available till the 4th of January as well. Um, the other one, the quite curvy stamp set and the curvy dies, they are going to be carrying over into the January to June mini catalog. But these two here, if you wanted those, um, go there and grab them now. So even if you wanted to grab them to put together, uh, to put away for next Christmas, then um, then go and grab them. And in fact, there's a couple in there that you can use um, for other occasions as well, not necessarily Christmas, because we've got stars, even the trees. Like you could you could do like a snowy scene. It doesn't have to necessarily be Christmas. Um, even the the um, leafy images. And the bow and the stars really you can use them for any occasion you can turn that into anything it doesn't have to be christmas um but yeah so go there and check that out as well they're still available at the moment but not for much longer so alrighty, let me put those to the side did anybody have any questions about those two um things that i've just mentioned the giant year end closeout or the curvy celebrations any questions about any of that? Let me know if you do. I'll move on. All right, so. Oh, how's everyone going with all their Christmas preparations, by the way? I didn't even ask you that. Let me know how you're going. I'm still, uh, I've still got gifts to wrap. I'm still writing on Christmas cards. I was saying just earlier, I made one trip to the post office today. So I've posted off um, the last of my parcels and some of my Christmas cards, but I've still got more to go. Um, and I've got to do some local deliveries tomorrow as well to my team members. So I'll be doing that tomorrow. Yeah, so busy, busy time, isn't it? And then I haven't even written up the food list yet for Christmas day because <laughs> Um, I've just been too busy and kind of everything is up in the air now too because where John's parents are and his brother um, they're actually in the suburbs where over on the northern beaches that are in total lockdown at the moment because of the latest COVID cluster outbreak um, so John's dad's in a nursing home mum's in a retirement village um, and his brother lives over there that way so yeah they're all in total lockdown so we don't even know if we're going to get to see them on um, Christmas Day 
or not, but it's not looking too promising at the moment. So we might just be staying put at home. So yes, but I need to start cooking and I need to start my food list for Christmas day and just kind of plan, have a, have a backup plan, I think. So <laughs> Christmas this year is going to be so different, isn't it? Um, Amanda says Viking. I'm not sure what Viking is supposed to mean. Oh, ticking boxes slowly, but always we'll get there. Yes, very true, Amanda. Yes, have to tick those boxes slowly. There's been so much happening. It's been very overwhelming, but I haven't really, I'm not really on top of things this year, I don't think. Um, oh, Rose has got all her presents done, cards done, and only food left to do. Well done, Rose. Wow, you're super organized. Fantastic. I think I've still got one more gift still coming in the post so i'm hoping that comes in the next day oh actually i think it's coming tomorrow i got a notification i think it's coming tomorrow then i think that's it for presents um we're keeping it fairly low key this year and then i've got to start wrapping so yeah and fee is still making her christmas cards oh wow you've been super busy like me too fee hey with um finishing up at work and things too yes yeah, oh, it's good to see that you all are um, getting on to things and getting them done. I know that some of my Christmas cards are going to be received late, um, but I've done the best I can. So, and Amber's been a huge help to me as well this year. She's, well, she is every year, but um, she's been a really extra help to me this year to help me to get um, everything done that I need to do. So, yeah. All right, let's jump on to new stuff. Who loves new stuff? Of course we all do. All right, so I just want to remind you that coming up really soon on the 5th of January, which isn't very far away. How many weeks away is that? What's today? Today's the 21st, so one, two, two weeks and one day away. We'll be having our beautiful January to June 2021 mini catalog launch, which is super exciting. You can see I've still got a bit of a wish list happening up here. <laughs> it's getting smaller, but uh, yeah, still have a bit of a wish list. So in the last couple of weeks, I had a couple more orders delivered. So I've got a whole heap of new product and I, it's been sitting there for, some of it's been sitting there for about a week. I just couldn't get to it, um, but I did unpack it a couple of nights ago. However, I'm not going to show all of it today. I'm going to spread it out over the next couple of weeks. I'm just going to show a few things today, a few more things next week, and a few more things the week after that. Um, but we will play with some each week as well as I show you some of the new things. So not only is the new catalogue coming out, but also too, we're going to have from the 4th, or for, sorry, the 5th of January, we're going to have Celebration starting, which is super exciting. So if you don't know about Celebration, it's um, a very special event that Stampin' Up! have been holding for many, many, many years. Um, it is a big sale time. So what happens is with Celebration, um, for every $90 purchase that you make, you can choose a free product from this Celebration brochure. And there are, let me see, there's 19 pages in here. Um, which also includes, there's special offers for if you host a, a party or host an event. Um, now, currently, as I said, I'm doing online events, but that's not to say that you can't host an online event with me. Um, and I can certainly talk to you about that if that's something that you're interesting interested in and there is also a special joining offer as well when you join during celebration um, and joining during celebration you will get um, an amazing five packs of designer series paper from the upcoming um, May uh, annual catalog which will launch in May so you get that ahead of time and you get a total of a hundred dollars worth of designer series paper which is awesome for free when you join um, that's on top of your starter kit when you join during celebration. So I will talk much more about that during celebration as well, but just to give you a little heads up that that is what the promotion will be. Um, now I've got some of the brand new products, the free products from here, uh, from celebration to show you today as well. Now, um, 
I was going to say, I can't show you the inside of either of these yet because they haven't gone live. But once they go live on the 5th of January, I'll be able to actually show you the insides of them as well. But I'm allowed to show you the products. So I'll be showing those today. Um, Celebration is going to be running for January and February. Okay, so we've got two months of those awesome specials. Now there are, as I mentioned, for every $90 you purchase, you can um, choose a free item from the Celebration brochure. But we have level one and level two items. So level one items are for um, when you spend $90, and then we have level two items for if you spend $180. Or with $180, you can choose two level one items. So you can get two for the price of one. It's up to you whichever way you'd like to go. So how about we have a look at some of these awesome products. Now I'm going to, um, uh, let me see, I will turn the camera down onto my desktop first and then I can show you. And I'm going to put my catalog off to the side so you can't see the inside because I'm going to be flicking through that um, oop, to make sure that I'm giving you all of the information about each of the products as we go. All right, so if you bear with me for one moment, I will just cover up the camera and I'll flip it down to the desktop and we'll get started. Oh, before I do that, if anyone is thinking about joining Stampin' Up, um, let me know because I would love to send you a join Stampin' Up um, information flyer. So this is just a little booklet um, with some information about what it's like to join Stampin' Up, what are the benefits of joining Stampin' Up. Um, so if you're if you're even thinking about it and you, you're tossing up whether or not it's the right thing for you, let me know because I'd love to send you a little, um, a little brochure just for you to have a little read through. And there's certainly no pressure to join um, if you get one of those brochures. I don't want you to feel pressured, um, but I'd love to give you the information if it's something that you're considering. So then you've got all of the information um, in front of you and you you know. All right, so let me cover up the camera and I'll tip that down onto the desktop and we'll get started. So just bear with me for a moment. Here we go. Oopsie, dropping my lights. Okay, let's see now. I might be a little high. I might need to bring it down a bit, but we'll just wait till my iPad catches up with my camera. And then we'll see. Oh, I forgot to flip. Oh, my goodness. Hang on a sec. Let me just do that. Sorry, everyone. Flip, flip. Hopefully we'll be up the right way and round the right way now. I knew I'd forget something. See what happens when you're out of practice? It's only been two weeks and I've already forgotten how to do it all. <laughs> all right, so I'll move that up a little bit. And did it flip? Oh, it didn't flip around the right way. Hang on a sec. Let me flip that one. Otherwise, everything will be back to front. I'll just wait for that to catch up again now. And hopefully we should be all good to go. I'll tilt that out a little bit. There we go. All right, so now we're around the right way. That's awesome. And just moving that up a little bit. There we go. Move my iPad out of the way. All righty. So hopefully you can all see that now. straightening up my camera. It was a little bit wonky. We don't want it to be wonky. All right. So um, here's our beautiful catalogue. Um, again, I can't show the inside, but I will show you the actual products. So I'm just going to turn to the correct page so that I have them there. So make sure I give you all the right information. All right. So in the catalog, there is this gorgeous suite called um, Love You Always Sweet. And I don't have all of the products from it, but I have a few bits and pieces. So I thought that I would show you um, these first. I've got the beautiful designer series paper, which is called the True Love Designer Series Paper. So I haven't even opened this yet to have a look. 
actually. I've only just taken it out of the box, ticked it off my checklist, and then put it into another box. <laughs> so let's have a look together. I've seen it in the catalogue, of course. Actually, let me just... Some of these bags have a sticky strip on them, so you have to be careful when you're going to take your paper out. So I like to just turn the edge of my um, plastic sleeve over and adhere it down to that sticky strip so that that sticky strip doesn't attach to my paper when I take it out of the packet. Because, you know, my paper will go in and out several times. All right. Which way up does it go? I think it's that way. I don't think it really matters. How beautiful are these flowers? So I can see lots of opportunity in this paper to either use it as it is in black and white or to do lots of different coloring techniques with this. You could use your watercolor pencils. You could use your stamp and write markers, your um, stamp and blends. You could use sponging. Um, you could use the new blending brushes. The blending brushes I did show a couple of weeks ago and I did get some more actually. Um, I got three more, which as you can see are brand new and they haven't got any color on them yet. Um, yeah, so lots and lots of different coloring technique options there with this beautiful paper. So you get two sheets of each pattern in the pack. Oh, look at that one, that's good. Oh, this one would be beautiful with blending brushes. Oh, so pretty. I can't wait to have a play. This one. Beautiful. So these are all double-sided and I'll I will show you the opposite side in a moment. Oops, hang on a sec. I'll try and get them all. Oh, my adhesive is getting in the way. Oh, look at this one with all the daisies. Oh, wow, look at that. That's beautiful. Oh, you could even do sponge brayering on these too to give a beautiful ombre effect. That would be gorgeous. Actually, those daisies I can see with um, a bit of ombre on them, they'd be beautiful. Then there's these beautiful big ones. Not even sure what types of flowers these all are. Obviously, I know the daisies, but I don't know what the other ones are. Let me know if you know what types of flowers these ones are, everybody. I'm not really good on flower names. And this one looks like a bit of a compilation of the different flowers. That's really beautiful. These would make great backgrounds, um, beautiful focal points. All right, let's have a look what's on the other side. You ready? Whoa, look at all the geographic patterns. How cool. Oh, wow. This one and this one together are sort of like an optical illusion. Is that all of them? One, two, three, four, five, six. Yep, that's them. How cool are they? Yeah, these ones are making my eyes go funny, having them both together. <laughs> they are awesome. They would be great for um, male and female cards. So again, or scrapbooking layouts as well. Again, you can color them any way you like, or you can just use them as black and white. So love those. So that's the True Love Designer Series paper. Now in that suite as well, there are some embellishments, of course. So these are black matte dots. So they're little adhesive back dots, but they're in a matte finish. They're not glossy and shiny. Well, they sort of are a little bit shiny, but they're, um, they're not like a metallic finish. They're like a matte finish. So they'll be super cool. Then there is this gorgeous ribbon. Let's open this. I haven't opened this yet. I'll just take the um, plastic off these. So all of our ribbons come with a um, plastic strip over the top of them to protect the ribbon so that it stays on the spool. And this is metallic ribbon in Blushing Bride. How gorgeous is that ribbon? Look, we can put it down on here and see how pretty that is. So, so pretty. I am a sucker for ribbons. Love, love, love ribbons and embellishments. And I've usually got to have them all. So <laughs> I haven't got all of the bits and pieces out of this suite yet, as I said, but I had to have the beautiful ribbon. And we've got some more embellishments in this suite too. These are the heart charms and these are gorgeous. So they've got like a rounded side and a flat side. So the flat side will be great to adhere down, but how cool are they? 
and they're a really good size too but I just love them they'd be beautiful to hang on some twine metallic twine or just hang on some ribbon um, to thread through some ribbon actually let's have a look and see how would they look yeah look they would look lovely even just like that on a card and have that adhered down so many different things you could do with these you could even have them attached either side you could have them attached that side and the other side yeah so many different things or you can just adhere them they do have a flat side that'll be good for adhering and the top side is rounded so aren't they really pretty love those and you get 20 in the packet Oop, hang on We've got to get the lid back on right there we go okay so that's part of the love you always sweet um I'm not sure if I have, no, I didn't get the other. There's another um, set of papers that comes in this suite, which are metallic, beautiful metallic papers. I don't have those ones yet, but I'll probably be getting them. And there's also some um, uh, foil sheets, some beautiful soft um, colour foil sheets that coordinates with this suite, as well as two stamp sets and die sets. Um, and there's some even some little... Um, treat boxes as well so eventually i'll get the whole the whole lot most likely um, but they're the bits that i have at the moment so super pretty all right so you might remember that i showed you before the dragonfly garden with the dragonfly punch and we might have even had a play i can't remember if we had a play with this um, on one of my facebook lives but I have made a few cards already with this one. And this is one of the ones that we as demonstrators were able to get early um, for our on-stage event. So our Stampin' Up! event that we had back in November. Was it November? Oh my goodness, it seems like such a long time ago now. So this is from the Dandy Garden Suite. But it's a bumper suite because there's two um, bundles. So this is one bundle, which I'd already shown. But the other bundle, I just got my stamp set. So this is the stamp set here. So this one, I actually um, won this stamp set at on stage. It was one of the prize giveaways that I won. So I just got that, but I had already purchased the dies as well. So let's move these ones out of the way because we've seen them before. So these are the coordinating dies that go with the Garden Wishes. So the Garden Wishes is really beautiful. I was pleasantly surprised when I saw this stamp set because when I first saw it in the catalogue, I thought, oh, I'm not really sure if I'm going to use it. Um, not really sure. And then I won it and I thought, oh, okay, well, I'm getting it now anyway. And then when it, when it arrived, I thought, oh, wow, I actually really love it. Love these dandelions. So beautiful. Beautiful sentiments in there with really lovely font. And, and there's this cute little bee as well. How adorable is he? And then we've got these beautiful dies that coordinate with additional dies in there as well. So um, the two floral images um, cut out and the little bee as well. They cut out with the dies. Then we've got some additional dies, some leafy ones, some um, dandelions, some floral images. And we've even got little... Um, so the B in the stamp set has got the little flying, I don't know what you call them, like the little flying trail, but we've actually got that in an actual embossed um, piece in the stamp set, uh, in the die set, sorry, as well. So that'll actually emboss that into the cardstock, which is super cool. So yeah, so I'm very happy with that. So that'll be nice to have a play with. Um then i bought these this bundle so this bundle is a standalone bundle it's not a suite as such it's a standalone bundle but it is let me find it in my catalog here and i'll tell you what the bundle so it's a welcoming window stamp set with the window flower box dies but i'm just going to see what the bundle together is called so i give you the right name just have to find it. I meant to mark all of these before I went live today and I just ran out of time. This new catalog actually has so many products in it. You're going to love it when you get your your catalogs. Now, those of you who are my customers, um, Stampin' Up! has already started sending out those catalogs to you last week, which I ordered. 
um, for all of my current customers or my customers that have purchased with me in the last 12 months. So you should start receiving them. If you haven't already, you should start receiving them very soon. Um, if you've already received yours, let me know because I'd love to know if you had received it um, yet. yet. All right, so this bundle uh, is called the Welcoming Window Bundle. So there you go. So stamp set and dies. Um, I can't wait to show you what this stamp set can do. It's so beautiful. Even just the, the samples in the catalogue are beautiful as well. So I can't wait to show you. But it's like um, the old country cottage, cobblestone type um, cottage look. Uh, really, really beautiful. And these are the dies. If I can open them the right way, there we go. So we've got the gorgeous little windows. We've got the little window shutters, which is so cool. Little window box. Look, little timber window box. We've even got the little, um, what are those little metal fixings on the, the window shutters? I can't think what they're called. Like the little hinges, the old fashioned style hinges. Got those as well. And then we've got some dies that will cut out um, the, the jug and the little pots and everything. Oh, this is just going to make some beautiful, beautiful cards. If you love, um, if you've seen the Grace's Garden stamp set in the annual catalogue, you will love this one. It's really beautiful. So super excited about that one. So, um, oh, I love this one. This little sentiment, wishing our paths crossed a little more often. Yes, beautiful sentiments in here. Sending sunshine for a beautiful birthday. Oh, look, there's even one for Mother's Day as well. Hope you have a wonderful Mother's Day. And then we've got a thank you, a welcome, and my sweet friend. So super cute. Yes, looking forward to having a play with that one for sure. All right, now... You might remember a couple of weeks ago, I showed you the, um, I think it's the, let me just get it. I think it's the Artistry Blooms. Is that what it's called? Let me get the name right. Um, oh, Love You Always, I think it is. Hang on a minute. No, that's not the one. Is it Artistry Blooms? Oh, Fine Art. That's the one. Oh, so many names to get in my head now. <laughs> so many new ones. Let's just, let me just turn to the right page. Okay, yes. Yeah, so the Fine art floral i showed that a couple of weeks ago and i talked about the gold gilding that was coming well guess what i got it so it's the gilded leafing so it's this big pot it's actually a really good size pot of beautiful gold leaf i can't wait to play with this i haven't taken the lid off yet because i believe that when you take the lid off it it expands um because it's quite compressed in the container at the moment so I'll be getting out a larger container before I open this one, maybe a, like a Chinese takeaway food container or something um, to yeah, make sure I have that handy when I open this to just catch any that might fall. So I can't wait to play with that. And along with that is, let me just open this up. This is the heat and stick powder. So the heat and stick powder works sort of like um, your embossing powder only that it becomes sticky. So then the gilding will actually stick to it. So you use it with, so you stamp your image in Versamark, for instance, which I have right here. You stamp your image in Versamark. Um, you sprinkle on the heat and stick powder onto the Versamark. And it's, as I said, it's like, it's a granule powder. It actually looks finer. I'm just looking at it in the tub here. It looks finer than an embossing powder. So you sprinkle that on, shake off the excess, heat it with your heat gun, and then um, put use very carefully, put your gold leafing onto it, and then any excess gold leafing you can brush off either with a, um, a paintbrush or with a sponge. So I'm not going to open that yet, but I will be playing with this very soon. Um, and we're going to be playing with this in my Technique Club next year too, early in the new year. So I'll be announcing that very soon. So super excited. I used to play with gold leafing many years ago. Um, I still actually have my old one. I found it the other day when I was rifling through some old things and thought, ah, oh, there it is. 
but um, I can't wait to have a play with this as well and um, go back to some of my old techniques that I used to use with this too. So I look forward to showing you that. I'm not going to open it right now though, but it's super, super light and um, airy and fluffy. So, well, not fluffy, but light. <laughs> so that will be lots and lots of fun. Okay, so that now will go with the rest of my suite and um, and I'll be getting getting some playtime next week, which I'm really looking forward to. Okay, there's also this awesome punch. Let me move my Versamark. So this punch goes with um, a suite and this punch is called the um, Treasured Tag Picker Punch. So it's another one of our picker punches. So now there's three in the series. Um, and you've got the two different shaped ends. Not sure how that will pick up in the light, but you've got the two different shaped ends and again, the three different sizes. So in effect, you've got six punches in there, um, which is super cool. And depending on the size of the punch will deter determine what the, um, the detail on the end will look like as well. Because if you do the really small one, you'll have a much different look on the end of your punch shape as you will if you use the full size there. So, but I love these punches. I've been using the other two um, a lot. We've got the other two here, which I've labeled now because I could never remember the names of which one was which. So we have the lovely labels, we've got the banner, and now we've got the um, treasured tag. So I'll have to label this one now too. So how cool is that? So that is now really six, um, six punches in effect. So I love that Stampin' Up! brought out a new one with different shapes. And you can see the different shapes there on um, camera, which is awesome. So super cool for your tags. Great for using with your sentiments. So that one is from... Now let me just see. Um, ba -ba 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 -ba. I'm not sure if it's actually a suite or it's just with some other products. Let me just have a look. There's a stamp set. Oh, here we go. Um, so it's not a suite, it's part of a bundle, the Treasured Medallion Bundle. Um, so there is a stamp set that coordinates as well um, with this punch, um, but I don't have the stamp set, I just bought the punch. Okay, but you'll be able to see that in the new catalogue when that comes out. But super beautiful. All right, then... I've got some of the celebration free items to show you. Now, some of these you may have already seen around about the place, but I wanted to first of all show you the darling donkeys. How adorable are these cute little guys? So, so cute. These ones are going to be super popular, I think. Um, just really, really cute. So these are one of the free items for when you spend $90. Now, when you during celebration... Um, when you spend $90, it can be $90 spread across any of the current catalogs at the time. So it might be from the mini catalog, might be from the annual catalog, it might be from the beginner catalog, it doesn't matter. So long as your order adds up to $90, then you can um, choose one of the free celebration items for free. And this is one of them that you could choose if you wanted to. But super, super cute. And um, I don't know if any of you have seen the um, storybook, the children's storybook called Wonky Donkey. This is what this little donkey reminds me of, of Wonky Donkey. It's a hugely hilarious book. Super cute. And we used to always read it. Um, and we had an audio um, version of it too for the kids at preschool. So I'll always remember that. So that one's super cute. We also have this one, which is A Touch of Ink. Now this one is a bit of a combo of a few of the different stamp sets from the... Um, mini catalogue actually so you've got the beautiful little um uh bird here i can't think of what type of bird it's called it's gone out of my head um oh it's coming it's coming if you think what type of bird is this can anyone help me it's gone out of my head anyway somebody will remind me then you've got some leaves here some floral images and some butterflies so these might give you a bit of a clue of some of the um, other products that you might find in the mini catalog that's coming out um, because this is kind of a bit of a, a touch of each one uh, of some of those um, and then we've got some beautiful sentiments as well hummingbird that's the one thank you fee it went out of my boat thank you anita thank you yes it went out of my head there for a moment 
um, and lovely little sentiments too. And these are quite small because sometimes we only need a really small sentiment just to add to um, a card, um, to the front of our card. And these ones are actually um, quite a good size. So they're a little bit smaller than, a little bit larger than what they're shown on the front. All the images on the front here are shown at 65%. So, um, they are a bit bigger than what's shown on the front, but they're still a really good size for the front of your card because sometimes we just need a small sentiment, not a really large one. So it's always good to have a different, um, like to have sentiments in all different sizes. Now you can see with this one, it's a two-step stamp set, stamp set. So what that means, hey, Danielle, great to see you. Yes, I am well, thank you very much. Um, so what that means is you have the outline stamps here. So you stamp your image, and then these are the color fills for inside your stamp. So with your butterfly, you'd stamp the outline in, say, black, for instance, and then you might want to do a purple butterfly. So then you ink this part of the stamp up in, say, Highland Heather, or you might do a combination of Highland Heather and Gorgeous Grape, or Highland Heather and um, Blushing Bride even. And then you stamp that over the top of your butterfly, and it lines up and then you get a colored butterfly. Same with the hummingbird and the floral images as well. So super cool to get a um, two-step stamp as a celebration free item. Now this one is a level two item, which means um, you can get this one for free when you spend $180 um, on any other products in the other um, catalogs. So yeah, so really, really, really love that one. Can't, ha can't wait to have a play with that one. And the other one that I have is the Oso oh Ombre 6x6 Designer Series Paper. Now this one wasn't available at first when, as demonstrators, we first went into our pre-order um, time, but they did become available shortly after. So I, I um, was able to put in another order and I was able to earn these for free um, with that second order. So these are free with a $90 order if you choose these ones from Celebration. And I haven't opened them or had a look at them yet, so let's do that together. Again, I've got that sticky strip, so I'm just going to turn that over and adhere that to itself. So let's have a look and see what we have. Ooh, hang on, it's stuck. There we go. So the colours in here, I'm just having a look, are Bermuda Bay, Blackberry Bliss, Granny Apple Green, Rococo Rose, and Whisper White. Oh, wow. Love that already. <laughs> Isn't that so pretty? That's Bermuda Bay. Let's turn it over to the pattern side first. So you get in here uh, a total of 48 sheets. So there's four of, is that right? Four of each pattern. One, two, three. One, two, three. No, you get three of each pattern. Hang on, or is there more? Oh no, I think there's more. Is there? I'm not sure now. Oh yeah, there's some more there. So it's a total of 48. Um, oh, I see, they've got the purples and the pinks and the purples and the pinks. Then we've got the other colors below and then it goes again, purples, pinks, purples, pinks. But you can kind of get the idea here. And see how they are ombre, which means that the color, you have the color variant. So it goes from dark to light or light to dark in the same color tone. So there's all of these ones. Oh, okay, I get it. So these are all the one color on this side. So the other colors must be on the other side. So there's so many of them. Look at them. Look how many pieces there are. That's huge. All right, and let's turn over and see. Whoa, look at that. There we go. We've got the greeny, the greens and the greeny blues. So we've got the Bermuda Bay and the Granny Apple Green. The other side was the Blackberry Bliss and Rococo Rose. And you've got the Whisper White in there as well. How gorgeous are they? So yeah, that's a free item. 48 sheets of cardstock, all double-sided. That's amazing. That will make so many cards. I love those colors together. They look amazing. And these two colors go beautiful together as well. The Blackberry Bliss and the Rococo Rose. So pretty. Look at that. 
These ones kind of have the colour going um, from corner to corner, like the, the light to the dark goes from corner to corner, whereas with the more solid colour, it goes from um, top to bottom or bottom to top. Yeah, so beautiful. Aren't they beautiful, Angie? Good afternoon, Angie. Yes. <laughs> Sorry, I forgot to say hello. Yes, they're beautiful, aren't they? They look so if you need some color inspiration, people, there you go. You just got two color inspirations there, or two color combinations, I should say. So um, that was Blackberry Bliss with Rococo Rose and the Bermuda Bay with the Granny Apple. Granny Apple Green. They look awesome together. <gasps> wow, that's going to make lots and lots of beautiful cards. So yes. Oh, yeah. Thank you for catching me live. It's great to have you here. So there we go. So that is one of the free items. So that is a great, um, that's a great freebie. You get heaps in that. That'll make lots and lots of beautiful cards. There we go. Okay. Now, the last product that I'm going to show you is the one that we're going to be playing with today. I have unopened I haven't even checked it out yet the Holo dear friend card kit so I haven't even opened it I'm going to open it with you all let me just open up my catalog to the right page so I can give you all of the information I have to find it first hang on one sec where is it I think it was towards the back somewhere was it or the middle to find which page it's on just give me two secs so this one is, um, um, do, 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 do. oh, it doesn't actually tell me on the front of that. I'll have to open up the booklet to get all the information from the booklet inside. Where are my kits? I'm trying to find my kits. Kits are on page seven. Oh, you know why I couldn't see it? Because my pages were stuck together. Because I had my sticky notes in there before and I took my sticky notes off and they left sticky spots. You have a box of goodies to open as well, Angie. Oh, so exciting. Yeah, been so busy, haven't had time. Same. I had a box sitting there for over a week before I opened it. And in the meantime, I had two other deliveries as well. So I hadn't opened any of them until about two nights ago. Oh, do you know what else I didn't show you? Before I open this box, there's something else I received that's brand new that I didn't show you. Let me just grab that for you and show you. Guess what I got? So excited about this little guy. I got the new mini stamp and cut and emboss machine. Super, super cute. Super lightweight as well compared to the big one. It This one is going to live on my desk. I'm really excited about this one. Um, I haven't had a play with it yet and we're not going to be playing with it today, but hopefully um, next week I'll be able to have a play with it with you and show you how it works. Um, but it's super great. It has the sides that flip down like the big one. So it folds down like that and you've got the handle there. On the bottom, it's got the rubber feet again, so it will grip to um, a surface. If you're finding it's not gripping, then just make sure your little feet are dry. Like I can see I've already picked up fluff on mine. So just make, not dry, make sure they're um, clean because if they have lint or embossing powder or anything like that stuck to them, they aren't going to stick to the surface. So just give them a wipe over and make, them, make sure they're nice and clean. And it comes with all of the plates that you need to get started. I haven't even opened this yet. Hang on, let's see. Here we go. Oh, you love the mini too, Angie. Awesome. Hey, Athena. Oh, you just finished work. Fantastic. Great to have you here. All right. So um, there's instructions here as well that come with the machine. So that's great. Good to have instructions. So make sure you read over the instructions before you get them. Now, the mini machine is going to be available to customers from the 5th of um, January. That's the same time as when the new January to June mini catalog is going to go live, even though this is from the annual catalog. It's all going live at the same time and celebration on the same day as well, all going live together. Hey, Chitska! Um, 
Oh, you got the bigger one, Danielle. Oh, that's awesome. I'm so glad you were able to get it. I heard that you had wanted it. So I'm so glad you're able to get it, Danielle. That's awesome. Um, yes, yeah, so when you purchase this, um, so as demonstrators, we can get it now, um, as well as all of the other products as, I, as I've been showing you, because as demonstrators, that's one of the perks. We're able to get all of these products early um, in a pre-order time before they go live to customers. So we're, we're very lucky. We're looked after very well by Stampin' Up! Um, so yeah, so read your instructions. It's in different languages as well. And then we've got all the plates here and they're all numbered. So there's our cute little base plate, number one. That's so cute. So cute because they're so little. Then we've got our clear cutting plates, number two. We've got two of those. Then we've got two embossing plates. Now these two embossing plates are for the different types of embossing folders. So there's standard embossing folders and 3D embossing folders. So there's a different one for each type of embossing folders. This one is for the 3D embossing folders. It's a little bit thinner. And this one is thicker for use with the traditional um, embossing folders. Now the embossing fold, there are some special embossing folders that have been made to fit this machine, which are much smaller than our standard ones. Um, the small embossing folders do also fit through your large machine. Um, but yeah, they, they're specially made for the little machine. The baby, the baby boss. I like to call this one the baby boss. It's very cute. So there you've got everything you need to get you started um, and to get going. So super exciting. So I'm going to have a little play with that later tonight um, in between writing on Christmas cards. <laughs> so I wanted to just show you that. Um, so yeah, uh, what was I going to say? Most of our Stampin' Up! dies, um, our thin dies will go through here. Some of the larger dies might not fit through. You might need the larger machine for some of the larger dies. But the majority of the dies will go through here. Um, all your word dies will go through here. Let's have a look and see what um, all of these ones, these ones that I showed you earlier, they will all go through there. They're all small enough to go through there because this one has a much smaller um, feeding mouth. Let me show you the size comparison to the big one. I'll just fold this back up. Just watch your fingers when you fold it up that you don't get it jammed in there because they do snap shut. There we go. I'll get the big one and I'll show you the two together. That's the big one and that's the small one. So you can see the comparison. So it's like mummy boss and baby boss. <laughs> so, but it's so cute. So if you travel or you go to crops or you go, um, you like to take your crafting supplies with you, this one, this little one will be fantastic for you for when you're traveling or going to your crops or your classes that you go to. You can take your own machine um, along with you. It's really lightweight, will fit easily into a bag um, and is much more portable. Even though the big one does fold up and it does have the carry handle, it's much heavier. So the little one um, is great. I'll show you the difference in the feeding mouth. So that's the big one and then that's the little one so you can see the difference in the size there hopefully you can see that on camera yeah so quite a big difference in size so of course the large embossing folders will not fit through the small one you will need the neat the big machine for the large embossing folders but the the small embossing folders that are made for this little mini machine will fit through the mini so there you go so I wanted to show you that because I'm super excited. Oh, wait for it. Wait for the big snap. I'm do the little one. Oh, there we go. I did it so it wasn't too noisy. So there you have the two machines now. So really excited about that one. Okay, let's get back to our kit. some of my stamp sets I was about to have an avalanche over there all right so this is the hello dear friend um, kit this is the one we're going to be playing with today now I'm just mindful of the time because I've already been talking and showing you things for an hour now so we might just make one card from here today and hopefully it'll be pretty quick and easy 
So we have our kit and all of our kit components. We have a Misty Moonlight um, ink spot, which is great. I love that color actually, Misty Moonlight. Um, we've got our um, Stampin' Dimensionals and we've got some gorgeous copper twine in there. It's metallic twine, so that's really beautiful. We've got our stamp set. Let's have a look at our stamp set. Let's put it down on here. We've got some little floral images. We've got a flower and some leaves and we've got lots of sentiments. We've got, let me see if I've got a white piece of paper. Just a plain white piece of paper so we can see them a bit better. There we go. A day to remember. Hello, dear friend. What's that one say? You make my heart smile. Thank you. And just a little note. Beautiful, lovely sentiments in that little stamp set. Great. We've also got everything else, which is shrink wrapped. So let's open. And I love the design on the box too. So once you finish with the kit, you can then use the box as a gift box, which is awesome. And it's a really good size box too. All right, so let's open up this pack here. And have a look and see what we've got in our kit. So we've got a block in there. Our instructions are all under the bottom. I can feel them under there. There they are. There we go. So you get the um, sheet of the instructions. So this is an all-inclusive kit. Yeah, it did go quick, didn't it, Fee, that hour, that first hour? Oh, hi, Chitska. I don't know if I said hello to you already. I don't think I did, actually. <laughs> um, yeah, so beautiful, beautiful projects in this one. I just love the floral. I love the metallic um embellishing in there just yeah the two things that I love most floral and metallic <laughs> and any embellishments of course so it tells you all the things that are in your kit here um, gives you some tips as well tells you the color coordination which is crushed curry highland heather melon mambo misty moonlight old olive shaded spruce and white um, and then it gives you the steps here as well as and then you've got images to follow with the steps and of course it's in the different languages French Japanese and German and English of course and then it shows you the four beautiful projects so I love this one and this one <laughs> and this one and this one I love them all they're all beautiful so yes it's going to be hard choosing which one to do so let's have a look. Oh, cute. We've got some little envelopes. So we've got some little gift cards, which are always great to just pop in with um, a, a gift with somebody for somebody. Or if you're giving somebody a bunch of flowers or a box of chocolates or something, you might like to just give them a little gift card rather than a full size card. These are the little cards that coordinate with that little envelope. This is a printed card front. They're all already pre-scored, so all you have to do is fold them in half and then add the embellishing, so that's pretty cool. We've got, let me pop these back into the box, actually. I'll take everything off that. Oh, we've got a block. You get a free block with this stamp set as well. Just pop that back in the box, and then I can put all of these back in there in the order that I take them out. Oh, there's another little one as well. So it's got some watermarked sort of um, or watercolour lines on there. They're beautiful. So there's four of them as well. We've got some larger envelopes with the green stripes. Yep, they're all the same. So there's how many of those? We've we got one, two, three, four, five, six of those ones. Then we've got our some of our embellishes. Embellishments, embellishes, embellishes. That's not even a word. Embellishments. <laughs> We've got three sheets of those flowers. So they're really pretty. Oh, these these all just have the watercolour look, don't they? Really beautiful. Then we've got some card bases. So we've got this one with the watercolour wash background and some flowers already um, printed on there. So we just add to that. There's three of that one. Oh, 
Look at these. Oh my goodness, they're beautiful. So this is vellum with copper, copper foil images printed on. And then you just pop them out of the vellum just like that. Aren't they gorgeous? So, so pretty. Yes, the block comes because it's an all-inclusive kit. Diana, any of our all-inclusive kits, they come with a block with them as well. So these all-inclusive kits are great for the beginner stamper as well because they get their ink and they get their block, they get their stamp set, their adhesives, and all the bits and pieces to put the cards together. So these make a great gift as well um, to anyone, even if they are not a, yet a crafter. So we've got these ones as well, which have beautiful leaves. I love these leaves. They're beautiful in those two-tone colors. Watercolor leaves there. We've got three of those ones. We've got some more leaf embellishments. It's a sheet of those. And then we've got some tags, which have the copper foil um, border around them as well. So there's two sheets of those. Beautiful. All right, let's work out which one we're going to do. Hang on, so now I've got to tip it all back up the other way because I tipped it all upside down. So let's see. Um, well, I really want to do this one, I think. That's really pretty. Does anybody have a preference? Oops, hang on, not that one, this one. Let's see. There we go. So we've got one, two, three, four. I love either... Um, I don't know which one. All right, let's take a poll. So we've got one, two, three, four. Type in the number of card that you would like me to do. One, two, three, or four. So Fee likes three, this one. Okay, so the majority is going to rule on this one. So let me know which one you'd like me to make. Danielle likes four, this one. Pretty colours. Angie likes four. Rose likes four. Diana likes three. I need to write this down, how many we've got. <laughs> so three, we've got two. Oh, we've got three and four. We've got one, two, three. One, two, three. One, two. Oh, let's see. One, two, three, four. Four for number three. And one, two, three, three for number four. Also, these two are the two favorites. Hey, Laurie, great to see you. Hey, Laurie, we are just looking at the Hello Dear Friend all-inclusive card kit that's coming out in the January to um, June mini catalog. And we're just taking a poll on which card everybody would like to make. If you'd like to join in on the poll, feel free. So we've got card one, two, three and four and so far we've got more votes for number three which is this one it's one two three four yep we've got four votes for number three but closely followed by three votes for number four Athena likes number three as well so that's five for number three so that's this one here what do you think Laurie I think that I think it's going to be number three I think everybody loves that one the most Closely followed by number four card. Oh, you like number one, Laurie. Laurie likes this one. I'm just trying to move my cable, my charging cable out of the way because it's wanting to get in my way. Oh, it's still wanting to get in my way. I don't know where I'm going to put it out of my way. Hang on a minute. Let me just readjust. Sorry, everyone. I'm just readjusting my cable so it stays out of my face. There we go. It is a great card kit. It's beautiful. I just actually went through all of the different um, items in the kit. All right, well, I think it's going to be number three because we've got five votes for number three. All right, so let's pull out everything that we need for number three. Okay, so we need... Um, this is called You Make My Heart Smile card. And we need to cut 24 inches or 61 centimetres of the cord. So always good to double check. Amber said to me before I did this kit, because I make this mistake all the time, she said, Mum, 
make sure you check how much of the twine that you need to cut first. <laughs> it tells me right here, so that's good. Um, yeah, okay, and then let's get all the other pieces out. All right, so we need a card base. Let's find the right card base, and we'll need one of these sheets. We're going to need... Oh, it's one of the ones with the leafy the leafy images. It's one of these ones. Okay, so we want that card base. We'll put those ones back in. I'll put that other envelopes back in the box. And the other ones that we don't need just yet. Okay, and we're going to need one of these gorgeous rectangle metallic, copper metallic. Ge ge geometric, I was going to say geographic, not geographic, geometric designed vellum pieces, which is absolutely gorgeous. Love that. Um, we're going to need the flowers. Oh, we've got them. And we don't need these ones. And we need a label. Oh, and I just found some adhesive dots floating around in there too. I might put them in the little bag with the... Um, actually, I'm surprised they're not in that bag little adhesive dots so even if your friends are new to stamping and they don't have any adhesive they've got little adhesive dots in this all-inclusive kit oh hey Judy how you going yes <coughs> excuse me so we are looking you missed a lot actually Judy you'll have to go back and watch the replay I showed lots of new products that are coming out um, that are coming out on the 5th of January and um, we're looking at currently the all-inclusive kit, which is called Hello Dear Friend. And this one will be available on the 5th of January or from the, oh, sorry, from the 4th of January. Not the, wait. Oh my goodness. Now I'm getting my dates mixed up. Hang on a sec. Let me check. Let me check. Let me check. I'm sure it's, oh, it is the 5th of January. Sorry. 5th of January. Um, and this one makes, this kit is all inclusive. It's got everything in the kit that you need. And it makes these four beautiful cards. And it makes a total of, how many cards in the end did we? 12. So you get to make three of each one of these cards. And everything you need is in the kit. And we took a vote and we're making this one here. The You Make My Heart Smile card. So we're just getting all of our bits out. We're going to need... A label so we're going to be using one of the long labels here okay now I'm going to substitute with my own block I always do do that so I'm going to bring out a D block which is the same size as this little one so I'm substituting with my own block um, but it does come with a block which is good and rather than opening up this brand new Misty Moonlight ink spot, I'm going to get my large Misty Moonlight um, ink pad. Which is that. So I'm just substituting those. I'm also, I'll take out my twine from here. I'm also going to just substitute the um, glue dots the little glue dots I'm going to be using, well, I'm not sure yet. I've either got my um, multi-purpose liquid glue. I've also got my stamp and seal. So we'll see as we go which one I decide to use. And I've already got a sheet of dimensionals already started. So I'm going to keep this one new and I'm going to use my dimensionals that I have already started. So I'll get those out ready. Okay, so there we go. So that's all my bits and pieces ready. So we've got everything there that we need for this. And I just need to cut my twine. We'll stamp our sentiment in a moment. Okay, so my instructions told me that I need 61 centimetres of the copper metallic cord. So I can measure that here on my grid paper. I'll put my dimensionals over there out of the way. So 61 centimetres... So let's see, we've got um, 40 and then 21. So there we go. So I'll cut that just there. If I can get my scissors. There we go. All right. So I'll pop that one away back in the box. All right. So we've got our cord. Now, 
with the floral images, these ones here, we need to punch those out of our um, card here. So we need a pink one. So we'll just carefully punch those out. So they're already die cut for us. All we need to do is punch them out. We need a yellow one. Now, which size yellow one is it? Because we've got two different sizes there. Oh, I can see it's the small one because it looks slightly different. Okay, so we'll take out the little yellow one. It is gorgeous, isn't it, Judy? It's a beautiful set, beautiful um, kit, this one. Take this one out. So we've got our, that looks like that is, is it Highland Heather or Purple Posy? Not sure. I think it's, what colours did it say? Highland Heather. Yeah. So in the front of your um, brochure that comes with it, it actually shows you the coordinating colours. And before we go on, let's read the tips. So it says adhesive may show through the vellum. To avoid this, place adhesive behind other elements when adding vellum to your card fronts. When tying cord around the vellum on the thank you card, secure the cord on the back of the vellum die cut with adhesive dots before tying your bow. When tying cord around the vellum on the thank you card. Oh, I see. It goes around that part. Okay. Yep. Um... Secure the cord on the back of the vellum die cut with adhesive dots before tying your bow. Oh, okay, that's to keep it in place, yep. And Stampin' Dimensionals will create a raised element. Adhesive dots will adhere pieces together more evenly. Okay, all right. So it tells us our steps here. Stamp the sentiment in Misty Moonlight Classic Stampin' Pad. And then it gives you a number... Um, like it shows you the step, sorry, it has the steps here, one, two, three, four, five, and then on each of the images, it'll have the relevant um, step numbers showing you there. So one, it's saying stamp the sentiment. Two is adhere using stamp and dimensionals. So then you're going to adhere the flower and the sentiment. Three is adhere using adhesive dots which is the twine and the vellum, the printed vellum sheet. Um, four, tie cord in a bow and adhere to the back of the label. Four, okay, we don't have another number four on this one. We have another five, number five, wrap cord around vellum and tie in a bow. Yeah, okay. So they're not necessarily in that sequential order because you'd be wanting to tie your bow first. Anyway, I'll show you. I'll show you as we go. The flowers are beautiful, aren't they? You'd, you'd buy sheets and sheets of those if you could. <laughs> well, maybe this is a kit for you, Judy. Maybe you could get this kit when it becomes available after the 5th of January. You would love this one. It's really pretty. Okay, so let's start with stamping our sentiment. So we are using, which sentiment are we using? You make my heart smile. Oh, I like that sentiment. You make my heart smile. Now, these are photopolymer stamps, so it's always a good idea. Hey, Sharon, great to see you. You're waiting for your box to arrive. Ah, very good. Yeah, it's beautiful. I love this. As soon as I saw this kit, I'm like, oh, that's on my, that's first on my wish list. All right, so I'll just add that to my block. Now, with the photopolymer stamps, it's always a good idea to give them a good clean before you use them because they come with a little bit of manufacturing oils or something on them and sometimes the ink doesn't stick real well to them straight away. So it's always a good idea to give them a good clean. So I like to give them a squirt with my Stampin' Mist and then, whoops, just dropping paper on the floor and then give it a scrub on my Stampin' Scrub. Now, if you don't have a Stampin' Scrub, um, you can just use your chamois if you have a Stampin' chamois, but I find with the um, Stampin' Scrub, it gives a really nice deep clean. So give that a really good scrub on there. And that just helps to remove all of those manufacturing oils, etc. And then dry it off on there. Then I will use my um, chamois. 
it's so funny I got out one of my old chamois that I haven't used for a while it actually is cleaner well this side anyway the other side is too it's actually cleaner than the one I've been using lately Amber and I have been not fighting over but we're constantly saying can I have the chamois can I have the chamois and then the other night I said um we've got like four chamois there why are we just both using the same chamois <laughs> so then I decided to get another one out so now we've each got one plus we've got spares as well all right, so my stamp is ready to go, all nice and clean. Now I'm going to put a stamp and pierce mat underneath my sentiment because these photopolymer stamps don't have any cushioning behind them. It's a good idea to put something um, that's a bit cushiony underneath it. You can either use a sponge or a mouse mat works well, or you can get a stamp and pierce mat from my online store. Um, or if you purchase with another demonstrator, then ask them about um, a stamp and pierce mat. Um, hey, Julie, no worries. Ah, oh, family photos today, lovely. Oh, yeah, lucky it was indoors because the weather has not been good today. <laughs> um, um, what was that, Judy? Maybe suggest to Stampin' Up that they should produce sheets of flyers like these so I can make lots of cards using the flowers. <laughs> sure, no worries. I can actually do that because we do have a, um, it's called the sandbox. It's for any suggestions or ideas that we have or that our customers have. We can actually register them with Stampin' Up. So I certainly can do that, Judy. <laughs> All right, so I think it's the large label that we're using. Yes, that would be the right size one. So I'll just ink up that stamp. Now, because it's a new one, I am just going to test it first. Beautiful. Good. All right, so we'll line that up. Now, if I get my head in shot, I apologize. I'm going to come. Oh, hang on. I got additional ink on my block. I'll just remove that because I don't want to get that on my project because I've got other... Um, labels here. I haven't removed the label from its surrounding paper. Let me try that again. I certainly do not want to get ink on any of my other beautiful labels. All right, so we'll line that up as best as we can. Let's hope it's straight. Yay! Beautiful. Worked well the first time. I'm so glad that they put a misty moonlight um, stamp and spot in this kit it's beautiful it's um really good to have the colored inks coming into the kits rather than just having you know basic black or more well, not basic black but what to, um memento or something like that it's great to have the different colors for the ink pads all right so we've got that stamped ready to go let's pop that aside that's the only stamping we have to do on this card which is awesome. Super easy and quick to put together. Now, our card base is already pre-scored. Just checking I don't have blue ink on my fingers. So we just need to fold that in half. And I'm just going to use my bone folder. Let's see. I've got my Mandy bone, my beautiful Mandy bone folder with my team logo on there. My little diamonds. Oh, actually, it's got a scratch in it. And okay, so this is going to go landscape. Now we need to wrap our twine around our vellum sheet before we adhere that. And then we're going to tie a bow. So I want to be sure that where I'm adhering this is going to be covered up with my sentiment, which is basically roughly in the middle anyway. So that'll be okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to cheat. I'm going to adhere a little bit of my whoop, my stamp and seal to the back so then I can run my twine or my trim let's find the middle hey let's do that I'll just find the middle that's about there I'll stick that is that roughly in the middle hopefully there and I'm going to pop that down so that that now doesn't stick to my desk. I'm going to pop it down on my silicon craft sheet because I don't want it to stick to my desk. And then you might be able to see at the moment, you can see that adhesive through there, but my label's going to cover that up. So you won't actually see that. 
So that's the thing when you're using um, vellum on the fronts of your cards, you have to be very careful with where you adhere it because you always want to make sure that it's going to be, your adhesive is going to be covered up with your other elements on your card. All right, so then we're going to tie a bow. I think we're doing the bow over to the side here and it's going to be quite a large bow because it's going to show from underneath. Now, what I'm going to do, because this twine is quite um, coarse, I'm going to pop a little glue dot under where I've just knotted that just to hold it in place while I tie that bow. So I'm going to use my glue dots. I do have the glue dots from the kit, but I'm going to keep them because I might end up giving them to somebody. So where's my take your pick tool? Here we go. So I'm just going to roll this and I'm going to pop it down where I want this to go. So let's see. Oop. This bit's probably going to be the most fiddly bit of anything just because it's of the nature of the twine. Pop that there and there we go. So see how that's holding that? That's going to hold that in place now while I tie that bow. And hopefully, oh, I've got one tail that's very short. Hopefully this one's not going to be too short now. It's going to be too short. might be too short. Hang on a minute. I might need to just adjust my lengths here. Whoop. Come off there, you. Come on. There we go. I'll just take that down to about there. Yep. And then I'm just going to jiggle that across. Being careful not to damage my... There we go. Attach that back down to there. All right, so I just was jiggling that across because I hadn't left my tails quite long enough because we want a really large bow because we want it to show from underneath our label. So now we've got longer tails there. Okay. There we go. Now we have to be careful not to pull it too tight because if we pull it too tight, it's going to curl up our um, vellum and we certainly do not want to be curling up our vellum. So just be careful to not pull it too tight. I just want it a little bit looser. We're going to tie our bow here. There we go. And we want our bows to be quite large because they're going to, um, I'll just show you in the picture, the bows poke out from behind the label. So we want the bow loops to be quite um, large. doesn't matter if our tails aren't quite as long, but we want the bow loops to be quite large so that they'll sit out from behind the um the sentiment label and we'll leave that there like that we can fiddle a bit more with that once we get that onto our card okay all right so now we can attach that to our card front now we have to be sure that when we're attaching that to our card front that we're going to be covering up any of the adhesive as i said before so if we have a look on the design we're going to be placing our sentiment across the middle there and then our other elements are down here towards the bottom. So we know that that's where we can put our adhesive. Okay. So if I flip that over. And I know that I can pop down some adhesive along the middle here. So I'll pop down some more. Actually, now that I've got the ribbon on there, it's a little bit bulky. So I might use some tape. I'll use some tear and tape. So we want to keep the, um, so I'll pop it up a bit from the bottom, but we're going to adhere it along the bottom there. And tape scissors, there we go. Keeping it sort of in the centre, in the centre area there. And then we'll put a little bit more up a bit higher as well. Because we know we're going to cover that up with our sentiment banner. There we go. And what you can do is if you just line that up on your card before sticking it, and then you can check where this is going to go. So that's going to go about there over the twine. Okay, and that's going to adhere there and there. So we can put a little bit more adhesive just on the upper side of that twine there too, just so that it's going to hold nice and firm to the card base. There we go. 
All right, so let's remove that. Remove the backing of those um, strips of tear and tape. There we go. Into the bin and, whoops, get our beautiful card base. Isn't that pretty just as it is? So beautiful. And then we're just going to adhere this in the middle. Try and get that nice and straight or as straight as we can. There we go. All right. In fact, here's another tip for you. So because, oh, no worries, Athena. Okay, great. Thank you. You have a great afternoon too. Oh, thank you so much. Merry Christmas to you as well, Athena. So because we've got that gold um, detailing there on the vellum, if you wanted to, you could put a little glue dot up there in the corners as well. And you probably wouldn't see it because that, um, in fact, let's do that. So the glue dots that come with the kit are a little bit smaller than our mini glue dots, which is great. But if you pop one up there in the corner, let's see if it's visible. Because you can sort of hide it behind, or the majority of it anyway, behind that um, metallic finish there on your card. There you go. So even I might fold this one in half. And just tuck it up under there and then that way you know that your corners will be held down but that your glue won't show through that vellum there we go beautiful all right so this copper twine has a mind of its own but that's okay we're going to be adhering our other elements um, over that so all good all right now our sentiments going to be popped up on dimensionals so where do I put my dimensional sheets? There they are. Okay. So I'm going to pop this down first. Let's move that up there. Move that out of the way. Finish with that one. And yes, I am just using, for those of you that are jumping on, I'm just using my own sheet of dimensionals because um, I had some already started. So the dimensionals that came with the kit, I'm just leaving them in a full sheet. Um, and I'll finish off my used my half used ones already first and then we'll go on to using the other ones alrighty so now we want to position our bow well helps if we put the sentiment up the right way position our bow so that that's coming up from underneath the sentiment and the sentiment is going to go towards I'm looking at the image the sentiment is going towards the right hand end so that the flowers can go um, to the left hand side there we go there we go so we just pop that down oh i didn't even put that straight oh it's all right oh it lifts off easily off vellum <laughs> much more easily than off cardstock hang on a minute there we go i was so focused on where the bow was i wasn't looking to see that i was actually sticking it down straight so use my grid paper. Let's try again. There we go. Beautiful. There we go. So we've got that ribbon coming out from behind there. We'll just move that little tail. Come over here, little tail. There we go. And then we can trim those ends off later. But let's put all our other elements onto the card first. So we've got all of our flowers now. So... Um, these are all going to be up on dimensionals too. Now, because the label is already up on dimensionals, if you are overlapping your flowers like this over the label, just be wary that you only need to put dimensionals underneath the parts of the flower that are sitting onto the base, not on here. Otherwise, you're going to have um, a wonky flower because this label is already on dimensionals. So does that make sense? So I'll show you what I mean. So this one's going to go there and this one's going to go down here. And that loop's going to go over the top. Yeah, okay. So let's put some dimensionals. So I'm just going to put dimensionals towards the bottom of this flower. Let me bring in my dimensionals again. So just towards the bottom and let's just see. I'll put one on the side there. Oops. 
yep that should be good okay so I've just got three dimensionals on there I'm not putting dimensionals on this part because this part here is going to overlap the um, sentiment label which already has dimensionals on it what you can do if you want to is you can add a little bit of um, multi-purpose liquid glue to that part or you can just leave it but I usually like to add a little bit and get my glue running because I didn't have it in its stand there we go just add a little bit of glue to there so that that one will stick to the sentiment label okay so then we just pop that one down about here like so we want that coming up over the top that bow Is that bow coming up over the top what's that bow doing hang on a minute before I stick that, there it is. There we go. Okay, so that little bit's got glue on it just there. And these bits down here have the dimensionals. All right, I probably could have put that up a little bit higher actually, but that's okay. All right, now this one is going to go over the top of that one. So it's going to just need dimensionals on the parts that don't overlap anything. All right, so hopefully that makes sense to you. So just on the bits that don't overlap anything. So I know that the dimensionals are going to go down this end or this bottom part down here. So it's going to be opposite when I flip it over. Oh, that one's backing already came off. And if you're not sure, you can always flip it back over again just to double check. So they're like so. Yep good and then just remove your backings again if you want to you can add a little bit of adhesive or you can just leave it just with the dimensionals because it will though it'll stay in place but I always just like to add a little bit of liquid glue and then just overlap that one there like so there we go and then we've got our little yellow one so our little yellow one is just going to go like that so it only needs one dimensional under that corner there in fact I might even get my minis oh no I'll use the large ones because that's what comes in the kit there we go and then yep we just attach that like so so it's just got one mini just under that corner and then we just slide that in under there like so and is that right yep there we go just like that and there we have our card finished now if you had in your stash some bling and you wanted to add bling you certainly could add your bling at this point um my bow is just being a little bit difficult here. Let's move that over a little bit. There we go. There we go. And then we can trim those ends as well. Oops. Let's have a look what's happening with my bow. Oh, it got stuck under a dimensional. That's why. There we go. That's better. It was stuck. There we go. I don't even think we need to trim those ends. I think they, they're the right length, actually. So there we go. There's our first kit from our first card from our kit from the hello dear friend all-inclusive card kit which will be available from the 5th of january so what do you all think do you like that isn't it beautiful so so pretty oh thanks kathleen you like it it's really pretty hey i really love it very beautiful and i love the watercolor look i love the colors i love the copper um, metallic throughout this kit I just love everything about it I think it's a wonderful kit so I might even end up buying a second one so ah oh, thank you everyone yeah it's beautiful isn't it can't take credit for the design because I just followed exactly as the <laughs> as the instructions said of course if you wanted to change up the instructions you can use those components from that kit any way you like to design your own cards you don't have to do exactly what the kit says um, but why wouldn't you because they're beautiful as they are so there you go so I hope you really like that so look out for that on the 5th of January when the new mini catalog comes out 
Remember our new beautiful mini catalog, it comes out on the 5th of January. Um, if you don't have a demonstrator already and you're here in Australia, let me know because I'd love to get one of these um, catalogs out to you as well as the celebration brochure, which now I can't find. I've put it down somewhere. Not sure where it is. It's here somewhere. I had it just before. I don't know where I've put it. So I'd love to get that out to you. And as well as I can, I'm very happy to send out um, our annual catalogue to you as well if you would like that. And remember for anyone who might be interested or thinking about joining or want to know, um, you know, what the perks are in joining and becoming a Stampin' Up! demonstrator, I'd be happy to send you out a um, joining brochure as well. So let me know if you'd like one of those. So let me flip, oh, there's my celebration brochure. Just found it, there it is. Was hiding under some dyes over there. So super, super exciting. Free products from the 5th of January until the 28th of February when you shop um, and spend over $90. You can choose free products from the celebration brochure. If you missed the beginning of my Facebook Live, feel free to watch the replay because I showed some of those new products and I talked more about what um, celebration is and what that looks like. So um, feel free to jump over there and, um, and have a look at that. But let me just flip the camera up so that I can say goodbye to you face to face and I'd like to wish you all a happy Christmas when I do that. So just give me a moment and I'll cover up the camera and I will flip that up. And I'll try and remember to flip my camera, my um, screen this time so that I'm not back to front. All righty. All right, let's see how we go. Oh, I'm hot now. Oh, I f and I didn't flip. Oh, hang on a minute. Hang on a minute. Here I am saying I'm going to flip the cameras. And what did I forget to do? Flip the cameras. Of course I did. <laughs> oh, dear. Let's get some lights on. There we go. Oh, wow. I'm really hot now. Can you tell? <laughs> I'm all shiny. <laughs> it's hot work. I might actually have to go and turn the air conditioner on. I think it's um it's warmed up in here a little bit. It's a small room, so it warms up pretty quickly when the doors are shut. So I want to thank you all for being here with me today. Um, and let me just do my little snapshot as I always do with my beautiful card. So that'll be my um, screenshot for my my YouTube channel. So all of my videos I do pop up onto my YouTube channel unless I accidentally delete them, which has happened <laughs> many times. <laughs> um, so yeah, so you might be watching this back later on YouTube and if you are, thank you so much. So thank you all for being here with me today. I'm so glad that you joined me. Um, I'm glad that you love that beautiful card kit. And um, remember to look out for that when the new catalog goes live on the 5th of January. So there's the the name of the kit, it's the all-inclusive kit. Hello, dear friend. Remember to look out for that one, super beautiful. And it's got everything in there that you need to put together those um, beautiful cards. So I'd like to wish you all a very, very Merry Christmas and a happier and healthier New Year than what we had this year. If there's anything I can do for you, um, if you need any help, um, with products or you have any questions, please feel free to send me a private message. Um, best doing it that way rather than leaving a um, question in the comments here because uh, sometimes Facebook hides some of them. When I go back to look, I can't find them. So send me a private message and let me know if there's anything I can do to help you. Um, but yeah, I really hope that you do have a beautiful Christmas. Our Christmases might look a little bit different this year, but so long as you're with your loved ones, um, that's what matters. So just enjoy the time together and um, just God bless you all. And I'll look forward to seeing you again soon. I will be going live again next Monday. Um, if you're around, feel free to jump on. So um, until then, I'll just say to you all, happy crafting. Bye.